Hey guys, welcome back to Power App Learning Channel. In this video, we are going to look at how we can do custom sorting in the Power Apps. Like if you want to sort on your own values, your own in your own sequence, then how you can achieve it. For example, if you see here on the screen, I wanted to sort uh, on the contract uh, value uh, like monthly on top, then six months, then annually. Because if you use the regular sorting, ascending, descending on the alphabetical order, you won't be able to achieve that. So if I want to achieve my own custom sorting, uh, then how to do that? Let's let's have a look. So this is my dummy app and I've just added a screen here. You can see here screen with the gallery. It's binding to the tenants list. I'll just show the list here. This is my tenants list. There are a few columns here. I've showed a few of the columns here in the gallery and as I said, I want to achieve this sorting on the contract column. This is my contract column. And I want to have the monthly, all the monthly records on top. Then I want to have, or I want to show the six months contracts on the, in the middle. And then at the end, I want to see the annual contracts and vice versa. Like I, I might want to see the annual contract on the top. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll just, let's just go to the gallery you can see this is a gallery and i'm going to the items property now as you can see this is bound to the tenants list now first we'll we'll uh, try out uh, the options step by step so first of all to achieve the sorting you have to use the function here there's a function called sort by columns or you can even use the sort function as well so if i just there's a function called sort which will automatically sort on specific column uh, by default on created date and you can sort by columns like you can provide the column names and then order so what I'm going to do here now is I'll be sorting so you need to provide the data source then the column one which you want to sort so let's say I want to sort on rent first and then how do you want to sort it descending or ascending so if I do this, you can see the values have been shown here. I'll just run this. So all these are sorted now. The topmost rent record has come up, come up on the top and the lower rent record is at the bottom. Okay. So the rent column, if I show you the type of it, because there is a trick as well. Uh, if you see the rent column is a number. So here in the power apps when you are performing sorting on the gallery using this sort by function or sort by column you are able to sort on text column number columns but if you try to sort on the choice column for example i have so many choice columns here usually if you have a status column or any other column or approval status or anything else you prefer choice column or you create it as a choice column in my case the contract column is choice column so when I was trying to sort on the contract column, so if I just copy this text and put it here, so ideally it should have worked, right? Like it should have allowed me to sort on the contract column and just regular alphabetical order for my contract values, you see six months, monthly, annually, but it is not working, it's just throwing an error. So if you, if I hover on it, it is just saying cannot sort on the expression type. But the problem here is the contract column is a choice column when you pull the data if you look at it and let me just show you here i'll just put it back as tenants only so if you look at the data the contract is a record itself you can see all the choice columns these are records so somehow it's not able to uh, get the values out of that record because it's a choice column and perform the sorting so now how can we perform sorting on the choice column so there is an option for that as well what you need to do is you can use add columns function so we'll create a dummy column on fly on demand we'll create a dummy column and we will store the contract value in that dummy column so what i'm doing here now is see here sort by column tenants well you have to use another function now add columns so we're going to add a column to tenants list so this is a temporary column which we are going to add in this memory only we are not going to add column in the list it's in the 
program memory which is power apps memory we'll be adding a column let's say let's name it as contract value and what would be the value we want to store in this column is contract dot value as it is a choice you have to use dot value then you have added this column now this is your data source new data source with the contract value as a column uh, where we are storing the choice column value now you can perform sorting on this column okay because now this is the column which you have added is a text column you can perform sorting on the text column so now you can do sort on the contract value column so if you look at it this will work now what we have done is we have added a temporary column in our data source which is contract value we have stored the contract value in that column this is your data source now whole thing then you are sorting on this new column which we have created and you are able to achieve the sorting on the choice column so if i show you here you can see now sorts already sorted alphabetically six months annually then monthly okay so first problem we have sorted which is how to sort on the choice column now the next one is how you can sort it in an order the way you want because here i don't want to sort it like this i want to have the monthly records on top then six months then annual so what you need to do is you need to provide instead of using ascending descending here you need to provide the order the way you want it so i have tried it already so i'll just copy it so instead of ascending what i'll do i'll just put the order the way i want so you have to use the square bracket provide the values the way you want so i want monthly on top six months then annual so if i just run it you can see it now it's already sorted the way i want i can see the monthly records on the top then six months then annual okay so if you want annual on top just change the order or you can have your own uh, variable like let's say i'll just add an icon here and what i've done in on the on this icon i have created a local variable which is sort ascending i'm using update context function to just toggle it and using this local variable i'll toggle the sequence of my values on, on which i want to uh, sort so i've created it here already i'll just copy paste it on the top So if you look at it now, what I'm doing, I'm checking, okay, how is the sort, how is my local variable, is it true or false? If it is true, sort in a sequence, first round monthly, then six months annually. If it is false, sort it first annual, then six months, then monthly. So you are able to toggle your sorting as well using this local variable. So if I just click on this now, you can see annual on top, then six months, then monthly. If I click on this again, monthly, six months anyway. I hope this is clear now. What we have done is we have sorted out two problems here. One is how you can sort on choice column. So by default, it's, if there is a problem, there are limitations. We are not able to do it. You can add a temporary column using add columns function. Add a text column with the value of your choice column and then sort on that text column. You will be able to do that. If you want to achieve the custom sorting on your own, in your own sequence of values, you can do that instead of using ascending, descending, just provide the sequence of your values, how you want to sort it. You can see it here and you will be able to achieve it. So just try it again. Well, that's it in this video. I hope this will help you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, just subscribe, share it. And I'll come up with another video ne uh, probably next week or soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.